up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So as you see, we are in the new 2019. It has been a really fun and cool truck the last couple of days. Now the thing that I want to nail down in this video for you guys is A, how does it ride officially by the time we're done in this three and a half hour trip? What's the average fuel mileage we got in this thing? Pre-deletes or anything else that could ever be done to this truck. Like the way it comes from the factory, how does it ride, stock tires, fuel mileage, all that stuff. And then at the end of this video, hopefully, we are going to get my grandfather's reaction on this new truck with all the gadgets and screen and all that stuff because he's uh, he likes the more simple things. He's not really the biggest fan of all the fancy stuff. Like He's like, I like looking at it, but I never want to own it. But uh, So we're going to get his reaction to that and see what he says. Sometimes he surprises me with his taste and what he says he changed in terms of what he likes and doesn't like, but we'll see. I got him from not liking black wheels to liking black wheels, so we'll see if maybe at some point here we can get him from not liking new trucks to actually liking the new truck. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the love and the support on all the recent content in the truck giveaway. And right now we are also running a giveaway for a 2002, I'll leave it right here, a picture of it, a 2002 Ram 3500 24 valve Cummins. It's a six speed manual, 140,000 miles, leather interior, it's not all ripped up, four wheel drive, Bradford built aluminum bed that will never rust. I mean, it's a beautiful truck, super clean. You guys don't want to miss out on your opportunity to win that truck. Every $15 is another entry to win. Information is in the description below. Well, we're going to get grandpa's reaction to the new truck. Now, I'm looking for you to tell me what your thoughts are on this new truck. He said he loves the, like, the I like the, the rear end. You like the rear end of it? <laughs> well, everybody likes the rear end on it. That's pretty neat the way it's... Have you seen these new ones yet? No, I never have. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like this hard cover, too? Nobody can break into your bed if you got cargo in there. There you go. Now this is where it gets interesting. Did Steps, tell me you see I'm that? Allowed to come in or not? Yeah, you're allowed to come in. It said you can go in. All right, I figured it would. Check that out. Don't look like your grandpa's truck. <laughs> Gee whiz. You want to start it up? Here. Here. Is your is your wallet in there? Yeah. Oh yeah. You just hit the brake, you just push that button over there. Hit the brake. Hit, just click push the button. the button. You Which just, button? That one right there. Oh, yeah, oh. here it is. Morning, wasn't it? Do you like that or, or do you not like that? I think uh, somebody come along and show you how to do it. Yeah. Well, it took me, and I'm used to my other truck, but it took me about 20 minutes just to figure out this whole Oh, I imagine. Thing. But it doesn't at least look good, even though not everybody knows how to use it. Now, is this a one-ton? Yeah, this is a one-ton with dually rear end. And that's why that's sweet? Yep. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. Then turn it off, you just do the same thing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing vehicle. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I wasn't sure about how I liked them when they first came out. But then once I saw one in person, I decided I really liked it. I like this flared back rear end on it. See, so Grandpa says he likes the rear fenders on this. Some people don't like them, and some oh, people love don't? them. Oh, gee whiz. I like something them. Something wrong with them. Yeah, something wrong with you, apparently. And then you can see the new tail lights that they have on these ones, too. You can see the new tail light design. And then. Watch this, this is gonna blow your mind. Hit the tailgate button. Hit no. Here? Just underneath. Just hit the button underneath. Tell me. And watch this. Mmm. <laughs> got it packed. So your tailgate don't drop if your hands are full. Yeah, there she is. It really sets off a one ton because I never like them fenders sticking out very much. Yeah by themselves. That's nice. Well, what do you think about the color match bumpers that are not chrome? They're painted the color of the truck. Yeah, I like them. You like them? Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Some people prefer the chrome, some people like the color match. It's a nice design on the color match. Just look at this truck and this lighting right here. And if you guys haven't noticed, 
The lights on these new trucks are extremely bright. And they're very good looking, I must say. My grandpa just absolutely loves this truck. He just, he loves the front end. He loves the big fender, how it goes out. I mean, he just loves, he eats that up. He, I mean, it's just like, he loves this truck already. As soon as he saw it, he's like, man, that is a good looking truck. He is the most straightforward and honest guy. If he likes or does not like something, he will tell you as soon as he sees it, I don't like it or I love it. So. That was good. That's pretty good. I actually kind of surprised because sometimes when it, something's brand new, he, he's just a simple guy. He loves the old school trucks. So sometimes right at first he's like, ah, I don't like it. And then it kind of grows on him. But uh, he said instantly, as soon as he saw us, he's like, I love that truck. So anyways, what I was going to talk to you guys now is about what the actual purpose is going to be for this truck. And this is kind of something I planned out after I bought it and I realized I'm like, I just got the perfect tow pick. And now when I say that, I know you guys are probably used to, for the most part with the channel, when we go pick up trucks, we just drive a car, two people drive back, you know, one driving the vehicle and one driving the car, you know, so on and so forth, which is nice with the little runaround car, the Malibu that I own. However, it's getting to the point where people want more content in a different form. They don't, you know, it's, it's, fine driving two vehicles back but why not use another opportunity to bring you guys another piece of content some better footage some better things and not only for you guys but for me I can drive back with my fiance we can go on trips together to pick up these trucks and travel and do stuff like that and we actually can be together all the time not like one person driving a truck one person driving a car like we can go together be together film together and uh, the content will just come together a lot better so it's just all around a better thing so what I'm planning on doing is turning this truck into a tow pig for the channel so of course you guys know every other week we're picking up another truck whether it's the mud truck project or the dually we just bought or you know for example this truck we just bought we're going to be picking up another truck here in about a week or two actually probably more like the next 10 12 days but what i'm saying is we do buy and move around enough trucks back and forth especially now that we do giveaways to where it would be nice to have a tow pig something that's reliable efficient it's comfortable you can go in this truck 10 hours and it would be nothing and it would just drive super nice and so that's what i'm thinking about so in terms of what we're going to do to this truck chances are we're going to be doing a set of airbags in the rear end not that it's necessarily mandatory but i think that would be a very good addition to this truck to make it just uh, handle the load a lot better. Now, like I already told you guys in the previous video, this truck's gonna have 35 by 1250s in the rear, Nittos with a negative 265 offset, and it's also gonna have 20 by 10 wheels in the front with 35 by 1250 Nittos, and uh, it's gonna look really good, but the rear end's gonna be stock in terms of height. So the rear end's not gonna be messed with. The only thing that we might do is the airbags to help keep it sit level, especially with a load on it. And of course, hauling around a truck isn't like an extremely heavy load for a truck like this that's rated for so much. However, it would definitely just help keep this thing look good, cruise good, and sit level going down the road. Not as much, you know, bounce in the rear end if you do hit bumps and stuff like that. It'll keep that rear end just really nice and leveled out and firm. So it would just really help out in that aspect. Now, in terms of the trailer that we're going to get to haul these trucks, my dad, he does have a gooseneck, but that is, of course, his trailer. In the end, we're going to need our own trailer for our own business, for our own uses, for hauling our own stuff, our own trucks, our own projects and stuff. So what I'm thinking about going with is a 22 to 25 foot uh, gooseneck trailer now. And I think a nice black trailer, which is how most of them come with this truck, would just really look good going down the road and get some like loud and proud LLC and loud and proud badges and decals and, you know, website, you know, plug all over down the side of the trailer. I think it would be actually like really cool. It might look really good uh, going down the road. But in terms of uh, this truck and the goal, that's it. I mean, we're going to try to make it a uh, beautiful, beautiful tow pig and uh, make something that's just going to haul all of our trucks that me and Reagan are picking up like crazy now. So in terms of the uses of the trailer and the truck, of course, keep in mind we do the giveaway truck. So let's say we've got a guy that's four or five, six hours away, seven hours away, doesn't have a chance, you know, any way he can come get it. He doesn't have somebody to ride with him or he has a situation with work and stuff to where he can't afford to be gone. He can't get time off. Um, he can't fly out, stuff like that. We would then be able to use this truck and trailer to deliver giveaway trucks or if we go pick up another project or, you know, so on and so forth. So you guys get the idea of how we could use this truck and for all the different things. 
and it would just really make sense for our application. Just guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video with my grandfather's reaction. The average fuel mileage, I did not tell you in the end, it ended up getting 14.4 cruising up between 70 and 78 the entire way down here, and it was a three and a half hour trip. So we did get a couple hundred miles on the truck, and that's about what it averaged so far. Of course, that's gonna fluctuate, depends on your driving and stuff like that, but that's what it got, and it actually rode really, really nice, and I was very, very comfortable going down the road in this truck, and it is very nimble for how big it is. This thing rides like a Cadillac. Like, I'm actually really impressed. Also, hopefully you guys are happy to hear the plans for this truck. We're not just building it just to have it. We're actually going to try to build it not just to have it because it's cool, but then also have it for content and other content and for actually using it to haul our trucks and our projects and stuff around that we're always picking up. And it would finally be nice to have something that is up for the task that is readily available to hook up and just go and get those trucks picked up and hauled back to the place. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team, join the family if you guys are excited about all this new stuff always happening. You guys are running out of time to enter to win the 2002 24 valve Cummins. Here's the truck right here running out of time. I don't know how many days you guys have left. I think it's around 10-ish, but I'm not 100% sure. Definitely check your calendars. It ends May 13th. Every $15 is another entry to win, and that is how you have the chance to win that track. So thank you guys so much. Information in the description below. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.